Hello knitters, my name is Mariah, I'm the creator here behind Mrs. Nitty Rogers on YouTube, Ravelry, and Instagram. I live in Anchorage, Alaska. Today is Friday, October 11th. Um, it's a fall day here. I mean, um, I'm looking outside. I have one, two, like four trees that usually make leaves fall every year. Two are done, and then that one's still pretty full. So we still have a lot of leaves to start raking. Yesterday, we had the first snowfall of this season. It melted in like an hour. It wasn't, it, that wasn't that bad. Supposedly, last night was a really good um, Northern Lights Aurora showing. I did go outside and look before I went to bed. Um, it was only like mm, 9.30 or so, so it was still pretty early. Um... And I couldn't see it with my eyeballs, but my phone picked up some. So um, that was kind of cool. Kind of. <laughs> I wish I had seen them in person. That would have been even better, but eh, it is what it is. Um, today has been a pretty busy day here at home. Um, we had a little, like, parent conference with his preschool teacher, so he didn't have any school, my son. And then we went to the trampoline park. We went to breakfast. Like, we've just been spending time together. And this weekend, I'm going to spend time for my um, my husband's birthday. going to spend the day for him on Sunday because um, he goes to work. He flies out to his job on his actual birthday on Wednesday. So we're going to celebrate a little bit early. Um, I had very little knitting mojo this week, so I don't have much to show. Um, I did have a lot of reading mojo. So I did... Um, start a new series and it's really good I'm really excited about it and I'll tell you about that at the end so um no finished objects so what I'm wearing today is my care sweater by the Crea Bea I'm using it I used I should say used um ruby and roses I think it's their soft rose DK which is 100% um merino superwash merino and um I really love this one it was a very fun fun sweater um I did quite oversized so the sleeves are not as tapered as I usually like but you know what I don't always need taper sleeves I need to keep telling myself so I'm just enjoying the cozy it's cozy and I this color work was so much fun so that's what I um am wearing today so um I started a new sweater because I just wanted to. I don't know. I'm, like I said, I had low mojo, knitting mojo this week. I didn't work on my two test knits that I should have. I will definitely get to that this weekend. Um, and so I just started something new. So remember that Noro last week that I showed you? Oh, sorry. It's all tangled in my bag here. So hold on just a second. All right. So I'm using Noro and Knitting for Olive um, Soft Silk Mohair together. And so far, it's turning out like this. Oh, I thought it was in the middle of the row. I was going to be upset. I think it's so pretty. Look at the how the inside. So you knit the twisted rib collar first, fold it in half, knit it together, and then do the raglan shaping. And I'm loving the color changes. But also how the mohair is just like making it look watercolorish. Like, it's really pretty how muted it's making the colors, but I'm still really loving it. It's still super nice. It's on, I'm using US 9s, so it is going quickly when I do work on it, but it's been quite a few days. So, I'm really excited to have this. I have lots of zippers in my sewing stash that I might use, but I gotta look. I mean, I'm trying not to worry about that too much right now, either. Um... So we're getting there, but it's a really fun project. I'm really excited about that one. And then the other thing, um, yesterday, actually, I, for all, I mean, ever since I started knitting, I've always watched how other people knit, right? So most, I guess my way of knitting is called flicking, I think. Um, I am left-handed. I grew up crocheting, so I had the crochet hook in my left hand and the yarn in my right hand. I've always had it that way. So when I started knitting, I just had it in my left hand, or my right hand, I'm sorry, the yarn in my right hand, and I knitted kind of almost English, but the way that my um, hand moves, it's more like flicking is what I've heard. But anyway, so I 
tried moving the yarn to my left hand. My left hand seems dumb. <laughs> I mean, just honestly, I cannot keep tension to save my life. I tried for like a good hour. And then I was like, you know what? Left-handed continental knitting is a thing. So let's try it. And this is what I started and what I've been working on. I don't know why. I just wanted to do it for fun just to see. But I'm actually kind of preferring how my hands feel and how my posture feels with this continental hitting, knitting left-handed. So um, I think I'm going to keep going with it. But obviously I have a lot of whips that are in my English style, you know, my regular style knitting. So I've got to finish those. I actually just spent a good hour being like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to frog most of them, like, and just start over. But I would be, I actually would be really sad at myself if I did that. So, I mean, I took a good look at them and I was like, okay, I like them too much. I'm at a good point in them. I'm just going to keep going. Like, I don't think I'm going to be as strict about whipping down this month. Um, there's quite a few things that I want to knit for, um, like Halloween sake, fall sake, you know, that type of thing. And then I still owe a friend a sweater for her graduation present that I um, told her I would do. So I need to do that. And so I might, I might pause the whip down for now. Um, I mean, still work on it as I want to, but for November, I'll go back to, um, whipping down, like whipping down. Because in December, I have five advents, different types of advents coming to me. So I want to focus on those and do those. And also any, um, you know, gift knitting that I want to do. So, um, yeah. So the yarn I'm using um, is Flock Fiber Studio in their Fireside DK, which is 100% Superwash Merino, 255 yards per 115 grams. It's a really um, nice... It's kind of like a lighter DK for sure. Almost sport weight, so it feels good. I'm on US 5s, which is a nice neutral um, needle size for me, I guess. And you know what? It's I don't know if I'm going faster. I don't know if I can say that I'm going faster yet. Obviously, I'm going to need to teach myself again how to knit and read at the same time. So, I mean, there's that that I'm going to have to do. I think I'm going to turn this into like an Oslo-ish hat. So I can wear it. I really love these col this color. I think it's so pretty. But I'm having fun learning that. So, And just practicing. And it was something different. Scratched my brain in a different way. So we're doing that. I have one acquisition for this week. Um, I did the Elemental. I bought the Elemental Club from Explore Knits and Fibers. They're, um, it's like a quarterly club. And this quarter was fire. I got Rocky's DK. It's pretty. It's not my color, so I might either de-stash or use it as a gift knit, which will be more likely. I mean, it's got like oranges, purples. It's like a dark moody color for sure. Kind of reminds me of like the dark coals at the bottom of a fire, you know, or at the bottom of a barbecue pit when you put coals in your pit. All right, I have one future cast on that I think I'm going to do this week. And it's one of my Halloween things that I was just talking about. I just bought the Boneyard Sweetheart Mittens. They just came out. They're Colorwork DK Mittens. They only come in one size. It's the adult medium size, um, which is about my si hand size anyway. And um, it's really cute. There's three different charts for it. There's like a skeleton with ghosts, a skeleton with hearts, a skeleton with a pumpkin head. So I'm going to do the skeleton body with hearts and then the pumpkin head. And I think that'll be really cool. And I have a couple of mini skein sets. I mean, there are fingering weight sets, but I'm going to hold them double. And I think that the colors for them will be perfect. So I think the main color that I'm going to do is this Le Garçon BFL sock. It's the butler. It's like a nice dark, dark blue. It almost black, so I think it'll work well. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use the mini. I'll save the mini for somewhere else. But I have these two Explore Knits and Fibers sets, mini sets. I think this one was a L&T Leave No Trace, and this one is the Spain Collection one. As you can see, I've got some oranges for the pumpkin head. I've got some like nice neutral colors for the skeletons. Maybe this one would be a nice pumpkin head that's like a darker um a darker what am i trying to say orange 
So yeah, I think those would be fun. I'm gonna get on those sometime soon. I know like those two test knits are niggling in the back of my mind and I love to do test knits, but when they drag on a little too longer than I expect them to, or, you know, I'm in a knitting slump, I'm like, uh. Thankfully, I have a long time for them still. It's like end of next month for both of them, I think. So I will just get there as I can. But yeah, I think that's gonna be fun. So sorry about the glare. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. All right, so the book series that is started is called The Bonds That Tie. The first one is called, oh shoot, hold on, let me look. <laughs> yeah, I forgot now that I was just talking about it. Uh, Broken Bonds. And the second one is Savage Bonds. There's six books in a series. There, It's a fantasy romance is what I would call it. Um, it's kind of like a polygamy thing almost, which is kind of weird, but at the same time, like it's romance. Or, I mean, it's fantasy and it's, you know, kind of fantasy is some sometimes like really out there um, ideas. So, I mean, it, it works. But it's really, like, look how huge the, the words are. It's really easy to read. It is adult. It's not um, young adult. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really good. And there's still like so, even in the second book, I mean, I'm more than halfway through the second book and there's still so much mystery behind like the main character's past and like, and her bonds past and things like that too. So I'm, it's, it's like keeping me engaged and I'm having a lot of fun reading these. I think these are really, really good. All right, guys, that's all for today. <laughs> Sorry about the really short episode um i'm hoping to get um some vlogs actually out there i want to do some vlogs with like some of my whips or like a sweater vlog or there's a there's a certain gift that i'm going to make for someone that i want to vlog i think it'll be really cool so watch out for those bye guys <laughs>